Andy, well done. Uh, it's another massive win. Uh, this time two one here at Dunstan. Uh, it's a huge result, isn't it? Yeah, of course. You know, it's it was a difficult game for us today. We knew that. Um, but I actually think we're we're playing okay. Um, and we came here full of confidence after last week. And uh, not that we played too well today with the ball, but I thought <clears throat> out of possession, uh, I thought we were a different class. And um, fair play, I think we, we deserved it in the end. But I had to, had to put with lots of balls in the box and um, thought Harry did well at times when we needed him. And I think we deserved the win and we, we look forward to the next three games. Is that what impressed you most today? The fact that we didn't actually play too well, but we ground the result out in the end. Yeah, definitely. I've just I've just said exactly the same in there. Um, I thought that's possibly one of the worst we've played with the ball, but without it, I thought we were difficult to break down. And when and when they did get in and around our box, I said that some of the blocks from uh, from everybody really um, made it difficult for them to get through. And then in the last five ten minutes, when they did put the pressure on, I thought we we dealt with it quite comfortably. And the surface seemed difficult to play on. There was a lot of bubbles. Yeah, it's it's just that time of the year, and it you know it's, it doesn't look like it's been cut for a while, but. That's the situation we were in, and and we um, we actually came out on top. And I think the first half, with um, with the chances we created towards the end, I thought we looked a real threat. Obviously, we went a goal down in the first half, but bounced back tremendously. Uh, Kieran getting the equaliser. What header it was? Yeah, it was. It was a good ball in from uh, Jordan, and and you know we we have a lot of situations like that, and we don't take advantage. So it was nice to see one of those go in. And uh, when you get to one all, I, I was I was thinking on the bench if we're getting at one all. At half time, you know, we can regroup, but then uh, Des does that run from his own half, and it was unbelievable. You know, if people are trying to chop him down, he takes the keeper on and, and puts it into an empty net. So that gave us a boost going into the second half. Yeah, just how good was that winning goal, which turned out to be in the end, obviously. Like I say he tried to get kind of dragged down a few times. They could have dragged him down and taken that one, but he kind of out muscled the defender, and then the keeper kind of dummied past the keeper. And then taps it in. <laughs> well, yeah, it was it was one of those where you think, um, is he going to get through? But you know, with his pace, his strength, and that's what Desert's got, you know. And and he had a little bit of composure at the end to to, to roll it into an empty net. So he's um, obviously delighted. The team's delighted. And um, like I said, we can, you know, not that the pressure's off because we still need to <clears throat> perform and probably get a few more points. But um, we can, you know, look forward to the next three games. Uh, I know you've already mentioned it somewhat, but the second half. Um... It was backs against the wall at times, wasn't it? I mean, we were defending for our lives, but the amount of blocks and, and clearances and claims from the goalkeeper we had today was tremendous. Well, yeah, that side of it was pleasing, but like I said, I think we could be better with the ball. Um, we kind of invited the pressure, but sometimes it's, it is difficult to get out um, when you're holding on to a lead. So it was it was tough, but like I said, the last five, ten minutes, they started to lose their heads a bit. They got two lads sent off, um, and I, th I thought we saw it out quite comfortably. You may not want to go on record and say anything too kind of out there, but how close do you think that gets us towards the, the safety mark? Um, I don't think we're far off, but um, you know we've got we've got Easter games now, so Saturday, Monday. Um, the lads are in good form. You know the, the spirits there. You can see from today, everyone's fighting for each other, and um, if we can, can we get a few more points on the board in the last three? You know and. And kind of enjoy the last three games. Yeah, and just finally, obviously, we welcome Frickley to the Global Stadium next Saturday. They got beat 4 1 by um, fellow strugglers Lincoln at home today, so they'll be bang up for it. Well, yeah, I know mean, they're in the struggle with us as well, so they've got to be, haven't they? Um, you know, obviously, they've got beaten today, so they'll be looking for a reaction, but I think the onus is on us at home, especially. Um, I want to keep this form going, and hopefully, we can do. Well done, Andy. Cheers, mate.